And I think it's fair to say we're now at a time when God gives us the opportunity to save this country, we will do the correct things. We will make the right decisions. <laughs> to whom that believes all things are possible. Therefore, allow me to use the opportunity to state that a country that is divided against itself cannot stand. It is from this background that I urge all of us Zambians, residents of this country, to put our differences aside and focus on the common good of our great nation, Zambia. I want to say to you, on behalf of my colleagues, that despite the injustices, despite the inhuman treatment that we endured following our brutal arrests, of course, and detention, we harbor no bitterness. We harbor no anger. Because the Bible says, if you are angry all the time, you will make mistakes. So we have no hatred. And I therefore say, on behalf of our colleagues, I, Hakainde Hichilema, having reflected on everything that happened in light of the word of God and the love of our Lord, Jesus Christ, we do hereby forgive all of those, all of those, Thank you. Thank you. We forgive all of those, and there are many, and there are many who were involved in our brutal arrests and subsequent detention.